Welcome back, and I'm doing part two of Journal Extravaganza. Uh, if you remember in my last video, I'm making a bunch of these. I got an art project with them, and so I have to have ten of them. I decided that I'm just going to do ten fresh journals. Uh, this didn't d turn out exactly the way I want it to. And also, fun fact, I don't want to have these attached. Uh, I'm going to essentially trace out where these straps are going to go on here and then give them to the artists so that they can do their artwork on here without having to deal with this whole thing flopping around. I have 10 sets of signatures, uh, all the same weight of paper, all the same color of paper, and... Uh, and I've already punched all of the holes in the spines of them, so they are ready to be sewn up. I'm going to get moving, and uh, I'm going to move all this stuff, and then I'm going to drop some leather down here so that I can show you cutting everything out and getting everything ready to go. So, let's cut to that. Alright, so, I've got leather out here. I'm going to be switching to this camera so you can get a little bit closer view of things. But it's not going to be super complex. Essentially, I'm going to be taking this template that I've made. Uh, if you look, you can see I've already got the corners chamfered down. I've got holes punched where I want them. It's not 100% perfectly precise. But it's very close to that. Um, these holes in the center are the most uh, wibbly wobbly and so that's not the biggest deal because if you remember these threads on the binding tend to hide that pretty reasonably so essentially what I'm going to be doing is taking this and uh, just tracing out a bunch of different templates onto this so this is enough for one journal uh, you can't really see it from there but if I pull this up and show you you can see that that traces out very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and edit forward and show you what 20 of these cut out and punched look like. I have an abundance of leather pieces that I have just unceremoniously dumped right here. Uh, they're all punched. They're all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sewing these up. Um, another thing I did is I went ahead and batched out the uh, waxed cotton cord that I'm using for these. Um, I've got 10 sets. Each set has five strings. I know how long it needs to be. I probably have a little bit more than I need, but that's okay. Uh, each journal is going to be using two of these. I have 20 pieces done. And somewhere in my life, I have a leather sewing needle. The tip is blunted. Um, it's like barely sharp, like if I were to jab it, it would still hurt, but it's rounded off nicely so that it uh, doesn't just obliterate my fingers when I'm using it. What I'm thinking about while I'm doing this is this is the orientation of my signatures. I've got these lines of holes and I want these to sit like this on the spine. So... I would like to start sewing this top one because that's my personal preference. So I'm going to grab it and I want it to be sewn into the topmost of these holes. The template that I did, I've got three holes in the center because I'm doing five signatures. And so if you look here, I'm doing two signatures at this top one, one in the middle and two at the bottom. And so it'll end up giving me that look on the spine, which I'm very, very happy about. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pass my needle through here and I'm going to leave myself some slack and I'm going to leave myself about that much slack right there. Uh, that makes sure that I have enough to actually tie a knot when I'm done with this. Uh, and then I'm just going to hold it down with my thumb so that I can actually keep it taut. And then I'm just going to pass this needle through that first hole and get it kind of where it needs to be. And then we're going to come back in 
We're going to come through the next hole here into the journal, and that snugs that up nicely. And then I'm going to come out through these holes. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. And no, it's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. I don't need it to be. And I'm going to come through these holes here and back into the package. And then we're going, so we go in here, like out this way, back in here, out this way, back in here. And then we're just going to sew back through, trying to kind of pull this slightly tight as we go. And now that I'm at the end, before I tie this off, I want to make sure that all of my stitches are in those top holes for this one. And I'm just going to snug up this thread and tie a quick knot. And that is the first signature. Okay, so I forgot one part. Um, I have to glue these to the inside of these. Uh, these all are branded and they've got information on them and I don't want that to show up. So I just cut some cardstock to fit inside uh, with my handy dandy paper cutter. And, uh, and I'm gonna be gluing those to the inside of all of these panels, uh, just with a glue stick, I think. I like how I questioned that, like I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I think a glue stick will be an appropriate way to glue these. I hope a glue stick is an appropriate way to glue these. And if it isn't, oh well. So, bam. Um, that seems to have worked nicely. And, you know, it'll probably pull up at some point, but... Uh, I got to do that to every one of these, but I don't want to get too carried away with that. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and attach that. Don't mind that there's a drawing on this page. You go away. Uh, I'm going to attach this one to this as the back cover so that we can go ahead and show you how all of this is working. Oh, wait, not that. I need a pencil. Uh, usually I tend to mark holes with Sharpie. It's just a little bit more precise that way, but to be perfectly honest with you, I don't feel like marking up this leather with a black Sharpie. That's the way that I'm playing things today. So I just kind of eyeball everything and line it up and trace out these holes. And now I got three nice dots there. Uh, the main thing that I'm doing, to be honest with you, is making sure that the straps are pretty square this way. I don't want a strap like, you know, if this is the cover, I don't want a strap laying down like all wonky on it. Um, so at this point... The only thing that happens is we're going to punch these holes out. Holy smokes! It worked perfectly the first time. Also, my AC just kicked on. I'm going to try to remove that in post, but if I didn't get it, I'm sorry. Um, and now, I need rivets. I bought a bunch of just simple little uh, kind of crappy double cap rivets. I don't need the best rivets in the world because it's just a cover. Um, I do want those leather straps to be on the outside of the cover, not on the inside. So we're going to do the covers first. I really hope these post rivets are long enough to bite properly. If they're not, then I'm probably going to have to buy more rivets. I'm hoping that this leather has enough give in it to let these caps really get seated. And if it doesn't, I will figure something else out, but right now it's feeling like I can accomplish this. Okay, now I have my little anvil and I've got my post for setting these rivets. 
Uh, I've got a flat side and a concave side on this anvil. I'm going to set up the concave side. And I just have a heavy ball peen hammer and I literally just contact cemented this piece of leather to the face. Uh, this post has a uh, convex and a concave side to it. So this one is actually scooped in. And I want to use that one on this so that it helps maintain the actual shape of the poke, of the rivet. So there you have it. That's what the back looks like. Again, the front's going to look exactly the same, except for these are going to be painted. Uh, the only thing I got to do is sew all of these into their leather, glue all of these onto their covers, punch a bunch of holes in these covers, and then rivet everything. And fingers crossed, I'll have that done tonight. So thank you. Consider subscribing, all of that just rigmarole of me begging you to come back and watch more videos. I don't want you to come back and watch if you're not like super interested. But if you like what I'm doing, I would love for you to be involved in the conversation of where we're going moving forward, what projects we're going to work on next. So thanks. Hope you're having a great day. Catch you folks next time.